Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Kraden's Crypt, and thank you for watching. Kraden's Crypt is a roguelikes physics driven action game, guys. What does that mean exactly? Well, basically, when you hit something, depending on how hard you hit it, you actually might do more damage or, you know, send it flying across the room and it might bounce around and fly back into you. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, the same goes for you as well. So if something like hits you ridiculously hard, you're going to fly across the room and everything's kind of affected by that kind of mentality. Uh, you'll see what I mean by that in a bit. The game is still in active development. This is actually a demo I downloaded off of uh, IndieDB. So everything you see is subject to change and not a final representation of the final game, guys. I should also mention that it's currently on um, Steam Greenlight and it's also on Kickstarter. Uh, and there will be links for all that kind of stuff in the description down below. Creighton Script is being developed by Wise Wonky. You can go ahead and get the alpha demo yourself right now for completely free and try the game out, guys. And I think you should because it's a really fun guy, fun game, guys. Blech. Tongue twister there. Now, what drew me to this game? Well, to be honest with you, it's it's trailer for one thing. The trailer is, is very well done. Um, and it's kind of adorable art style and then the kind of the strange take on the roguelike uh, genre. Uh, so let me, let me show you what, I, what basically the combat's like. Well, this is the combat. Right here. That's it. That's the entire combat. <laughs> you basically kind of click, uh, at least for me, I'm using my mouse. The game does feature controller support. Um, but it also works with the keyboard, and that's what I'm going to be kind of using because my controller, um, my Logitech controller doesn't work as well with the current, you know, state of the game. Uh, and I couldn't find a way to get it to work. But either way, but it, it, works, it works with my, um, my keyboard just fine. So basically, like I said, it's kind of like a physics-based, you know, action game. So as you can see, when I got whack stuff, it starts kind of flying away from you. Uh, and you kind of just kind of propel yourself towards it. To destroy or catch it in a corner and beat the crap out of it. Also kind of makes me laugh because it looks like he's going to raise your hands in the air. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Anyways. Uh, yeah, you just kind of walk up to stuff. You kind of beat the crap out of it like that. Uh, by just kind of left-clicking and then holding it, the button down and kind of swinging your mouse. Almost, to be honest, it kind of reminds me of uh, a Wiimote in a way. Um, <laughs> you know, it just it reminds me just kind of like you swing your Wiimote. But in this case, it's your mouse. Now, this translates to every... Uh, weapon in the game basically if you have a bow you kind of need to draw the bow back if you have a hammer you actually kind of spin in a circle well we'll get to see all that in a bit there's kind of like a tutorial area that we have to go through first uh and like i said the game just kind of like this twisted humor that i kind of enjoy about it everything's like like you'll fight jelly beans and giant bulls so let's go ahead we're posing right now for a picture uh, and he's basically just teaching us how to you know use our weapons how to kind of grab onto objects we have a sword and shield to start but these are just the starting weapons. You don't have to keep these weapons. Uh, you can pick up different kinds of weapons, like a bow or a hammer. Hammer is currently my favorite, but so let's, let's show you what that's like. And the hammer basically is just simply you just swing it around in a circle. Now the only thing is you cannot move when you're swinging your weapon, so you kind of have to rely on the motion that you are running towards when you start swinging your weapon. So as you can see, I'm still kind of moving. When I'm swinging my weapon, so I'll like go all the way right here to start running really fast and then swing. You'll see I keep kind of sliding, but as soon as it stops sliding, that's it. I have no more motion. I'm literally a stuck target. So depending on the style and the weapon that you choose, so for instance, if we take the bow here, uh, we can shoot and keep moving. Uh, but it doesn't always, uh, you know, you got to be very careful with your style of weapon depending on what you choose. Now, I don't know why. There was like usually like a little, I mean, it's because it's in the, the next area. There's like a, usually a little meter uh, behind you when you swing when you're shooting the bow that kind of shows you how charged up the shot is uh, For some reason that's not currently showing me because that's because of the resolution. I picked them see. Well a little bit forward uh, This is just them literally showing how to use all the different kinds of weapons So you got like, like I said you kind of like smash through stuff, you know Wildly swinging your mouse, which is just kind of adorable. I don't know why um, And it just really kind of it, it was different for me. I was like wow this looks kind of it's kind of silly But it looks like fun at the same time uh, because the game does feature kind of four local player co-op. So you can kind of play the game with four other people. Uh, let me see. Okay, it's not showing it for some reason. Is that because I, I did something to the controls? Huh. I don't know. Okay, usually it shows you like an energy meter. Now, okay, well, let me just see if I can show you. Like, If you look at my bow, you'll see as I kind of pull back the arrow, that's me actually kind of pushing my mouse back. And it's actually making the bow draw tighter. 
Depending on how tight you draw the bow, the more damage you'll do. Normally there's a little meter to show you that. I'm not sure why it's not showing that. So let me just show you. I just did 12 points damage, right? And I'm not going to pull the bow back as far back. I'm just only pull it back a little. Having technical issues here. That's just me mostly. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's just do this from actually from uh, There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you know what? I th okay, hold on. I don't know why I'm having such issues here with this bow. I'm not really good with the bow and arrow uh, at all, really. So, um, there we go. Eh. Eh, you get the idea. God, that's less damage. I don't know why I'm having such issues with the bow right now. I think my freaking controllers are bugged. I don't know why. Um, but you get the idea. Kind of, that's kind of the, it does more damage depending on what position you're in, how far you drop back, and that kind of accounts for a lot of things in this game. So I'm gonna use the hammer here. This just shows you how this works. You just kind of swing into things, swing in a circle, and smash stuff. Uh, and then there's oh, of course there's magic in the game as well. Uh, and how magic works is it's very interesting. Depending on how far, how long you hold it back, it'll actually charge up its damage. So as you can see, I have a little bar on the bottom of my, on my, my character on the top left there is kind of building back up. That's my magic bar. Above that, by the way, is my health bar. Above that is my equipment and actually what I have on my character's little blue thing. You'll see what I'm talking about. You can pick up armor in this game as well. Uh, so yeah, basically kind of depending on how long you hold it back and charge it up, it actually becomes more powerful. But you need to kind of swing it forward. Oops. Ugh, why is it freaking out? Okay, there we go. You need to kind of swing it forward when you want to launch it in a particular direction. So you're like, ah, you kind of need to fling it with your mouse. It's really, it's an interesting combat style. But I enjoy it a lot because it's different. Uh, and I can only imagine how crazy it gets with four players uh, in the game. Now I'm going to be grabbing the hammer. Now, the, why the hammer? Well, that's kind of the weapon I prefer. Um, the rest of them are pretty good. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do, you know what? Okay, what the hell? We'll do actually, you know, We'll do something a little different. We'll go with the sword and uh, shield combo. So uh, shield will go on my right button. And basically it's really easy to pick up weapons. You just hold down E and then left click where you want it corresponding to, depending on your hand. Uh, now, like I said, the little blue guy on the top left up there represents how much armor you have on you. Uh, currently, as you can imagine, I have none because this is a roguelike game or rogue light, whatever term you prefer. You can pick up armor that you find in treasure chests and all the rooms are procedurally generated. For instance, what do we got here? We got a round shield with a hundred percent. What is a simple wooden round shield with emblem? All right, so we'll just pick that up because it's probably obviously going to be better than the starter shield. Uh, we got a troll skull. That's a really good hammer. That's actually one I've had before. A Nordic buckler. It's actually better than what I have. Okay, and a can of bean juice. Of course, delicious bean juice, uh, which is basically just there to kind of regenerate your health. Um, he can also beat the crap out of his dummy. And he's also a hint as to what the first boss is. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if I can pull this off, shall we? Oh god, I'm surrounded. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Run away! Run back, beasts! Back, I say! Back! Yes, charge into my death field! Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Die! I hate these freaking eye- Ow, you penis! Now you can see kind of as I hit things, they kind of fly back when I hit them with my sword. And depending on how hard I hit them with my sword, I'll actually do more damage. So sometimes I'll do 18 points of damage, sometimes I'll do... Like if I were to start a swing here and then end it here, I'd probably do like a, a lot, probably the maximum amount of damage that is allowed for this weapon. Now the best weapon to show you that would definitely be the hammer. I would love to, let me I'll probably pick up a hammer just to show you what I mean by uh, the different... Oh god, I might die here actually, hold on. Oh god. Oh, oh. Ow! You know what? You're totally killing my buzz, man. I can't believe I'm dying already. That's because I didn't... Oh, I'm dead! I died! <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go back to the hammer. Uh, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to totally start again. Thank you. I can't believe I died. I'm totally a hammer guy. I just find it to be an easier weapon to use. Um, we're going to have to go through the tutorial again really quick. But that's okay, because it gives me a chance to talk about the adorable graphics, guys. The graphics are kind of like one of my favorite parts of this game, guys. Let me aim the sword right. There we go. All right, I got to put the shield down. There you go. Yes, let me go grab the hammer. 
the graphics are just like one of my favorite parts about the game. Uh, it just to be honest, they kind of it's different, it's quirky, it's weird, and I like it a lot. Like I was in an area where I walked into like kind of like this. Uh, it was like a theater type thing, and there was like skeletons sitting in chairs, and there was a singing frog. It was hilarious. It was strange, but it was hilarious. So I, I, just, I guess what I say is I, I like the, uh, the the humor of the game. I guess you could say. All right. Ugh. Okay, and ugh. okay. Open the door. There we go. There we go. There's my weapon. Yeah, baby. Only problem I find with using the hammer, by the way, is that. Um, it's really hard to hit the bosses uh, sometimes with the hammer because the bosses are a lot fa Whoa. Stop spinning! Stop spinning! Can I just spin in a circle? Oh no, okay, that's what I thought. Alright, uh, okay, got that one. Good, 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 and uh, I missed. So you can't also, it has a little bit of like a twin stick shooter thing going on for it. You can like obviously shoot in almost in any direction. At any angle, uh, which is pretty sweet, I have to say. All right, so let me grab my hammer. Thank God. Uh, this will also give you a chance to kind of see what I meant by all the procedurally generated rooms. All right. Now, uh, this is a perfect example of what I want to show you about. You can see that I did 38 points of damage to that guy, but I only did 39 to that guy. Let's see here. Eight, 12. Depending on how fast I'm swinging my hammer, I will do more damage. And I really like that about that. I like that, like that. You know, it almost has a little bit of almost like a skill thing going into the combat and then the you know the enemies kind of get more crazier you don't fight just playing on skeletons uh for long you also fight uh like jelly beans and crazier crap is gonna move deeper and deeper into the game i've been playing the game for about uh, i would say probably like an hour uh more or less just kind of trying out the different kinds of weapons uh we got a feather hat <laughs> yeah babe we got a hat <laughs> how cool is that <laughs> maybe i guess the blue thing doesn't represent how much armor you have on you. We've got a fried egg. I'll take that. That's some hit points. That's nice. A cheese selection assortment of cheese subtle for crackers or cocktail sticks. What the hell? A banana. All right. Pure food in that that those boxes there. Hey, sometimes that's what you get. Hopefully. It's okay because we should be able to even beat the boss with currently what we have. This is like a healing room. Uh, if we were damaged, we can go into the center of that, use that, and it would heal us. This is a trap room, which sometimes has enemies in it. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's anything in here that explore. Just kind of get across it. Uh, any treasure in this room? Nope, just eyeballs. Ow! Oh, you little sons of... Oh, I hate eyeballs. Bats. Basically, they're like bats. Oh, I hate, I hate bats. Ugh, take that. Knocked you out of the park. Ow. Okay, cool. Yeah! You can't touch this. What is that in the center of the room? Is it like a big cheeked thing? Is it like an angel? I don't know what it is. It looks freaking freaking me out. There's obviously like a little bit of a destructible environment thing going on here. You can't break boxes. Uh, even certain walls. Uh, depending on the area that your room you happen to end up in. Uh, but um, there's really no point in destroying kind of boxes right now at least. I haven't found anything in the boxes. Not ever once. Uh, but I imagine that maybe later on once like, the game's fully developed it might... Uh, actually allow you to go ahead and uh, find things in the boxes. We did find the boss. But I want to see if I can find some more stuff before we go ahead and face the boss. Well, I'll take some old robes. That's fine. Actually, I'm going to take the bandaged leather because that gives me more defense. I'm going to totally take that. Alright, we got very lucky with this room. We found some sweet items. Let's go this way. Alright, we got a monster room. That's okay because this should be easy to slaughter now with the troll uh, hammer here. Ow, baby! Uh, and you know what? I think we'll just head towards the boss. I'm going to show off the first boss and then we'll show off this little bit of the second level, the second floor, which is as far as I've got, by the way. I've got all the way to the second boss. There's bosses in this game. Uh, and they're all kind of, just like I said, they're kind of crazy. So like I said, that first thing you saw was kind of like a hint at what the boss would be. He's a punching bag. And I'm actually, he just kind of fell on his ass and just I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's gonna try to follow me. Okay. Ah, take that, you little bastard. Ow! Ow! Okay, he's rolling towards the wall. Come back here, coward! Do not run away from me! Ow! Uh, my, I'd say my uh, armor's kicking some serious ass. I whipped that boss his ass. I kicked his ass, guys. 
This is what I'm talking about. Just kind of that strange, wonky. Here we got Captain Craden Crunch down there. Some sort of strange night thing there. I don't know what that's all about. But we'll head into the next floor here. Oh yeah, you can have up to four players playing this at once. Currently over local, uh, so you have to have like, uh, you know, probably like four Xbox controllers would probably be the best thing to have while playing this. Is my... Uh, okay, there we go. Um, there's random loot, there's trap rooms, like I said. Let's, let's go ahead. There's going to be shops here, by the way, eventually. There's currently not, uh, but that is something that is planned for development. Oh, we found the healing room. All right, cool. So we'll grab a quick heal, and then we'll move along. Oh, this is not a door. <laughs> that was stupid of me. All right. I thought that was a door. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, look at all that feast. I wonder if we can eat any of that stuff. Oh, we can. Okay. All right. So let's beat these uh, skeletons and slimes asses. I don't know. I just prefer the hammer. I just I think I make an invulnerable field of death. Anything gets around me, I usually slaughter it pretty quickly. But it does, like I said, make me a little bit vulnerable when it comes to the boss. Which hopefully we'll be able to find here in a bit. And I'd say what I like about this game also is the procedurally generated rooms are usually really all very different. Like this one, for instance, has like monsters hidden inside of boxes. Those are jelly beans I just beat the crap of, by the way. Those are evil jelly beans. Yes, the jelly beans attack you in this game. Uh, and yeah, the enemies have like, different kinds of attacks. There's like a ranged enemy. There's... Uh, like an enemy that kind of looks, like tries to chase you and hit you because it's a giant fist. Uh, it's just really neat the different kinds of enemies that you'll face in this game. It's just the art style. I don't know. I don't know the art style. It really did something for me. I like the art style a lot. I like the humor. Uh, the music is okay. Um, it's not. I, I prefer something maybe a little bit more fun uh, in the music. I don't know if it matches the tone of the game. Uh, but you know, it, it's something. You know, who knows may change. It's not like it's bad. I'm not saying the music's perfectly okay. I'm just saying if it, I'm not sure if it's my cup of tea in the music. That's what I'm trying to say. So we slaughtered everything in that room. Let's move along and hopefully we can get to the next boss. There's a library here. And yeah, it does. It really does lend itself to the. You know, there's different kind of styles almost. Uh, different you know specs, if you will. Like you can like make a character who really like gets a lot of like if you get a lot of magic clothing. You could put a lot of magic clothes and probably enhance your damage. It really does like allow for almost a way kind of like different specs in a way. It's really nice. When the first time I actually played, I got like really lucky. I just beat the crap out of those jelly beans. Um, the first time I played, I got really lucky because I um, I found like a big steel armor, and then like this ridiculously strong. Uh, is he really? Are you guys like respawning? Holy crap! Okay, do they get back up eventually? Is that what's going on here? There we go. Okay, so we got a lot of doors here. Yeah, I got, like the first time I played, I got like a this really strong hammer, uh, and that was really dope. I found this room with like this giant. The best way to describe it was like almost like a chain chomp thing. Um, I had turkey. That's nice. Is that a turkey? What is that? Let's see what it says. I also like that everything has like a, oh, it's a roast chicken. Because nobody does chicken like KFC. Craydon's, there you go. <laughs> Very uh, nice. Take that, you spirit chucking weirdo. This is an example I was talking about of the different kinds of walls you can break through right here. Uh, even though I'm probably going to just skip this. That's the enemy I was talking about that is like a giant fist that tries to chase you. I have been through this particular generated room before, even though there was an exit on the right side of it. Uh, but you know, there will probably be different kinds of... Oh crap, I need to kill everything, don't I? Dang it, the door's closed. Of course the door's closed. I, I'm not a noob to rogues. Rogue games, I know this... Well, there's two of them. Oh god! Oh god! Ow! Oh god. Oh! He hits hard! Oh my god! He's He might be the death of me. Okay, no he's not. Missile. Interesting. I haven't seen that spell before. It's a new kind of spell. Okay. Excuse me, Jellybean. I have things to do. Maybe I, I did not necessarily run into this particular type of room. Uh, studded mallet. Not better than my troll skull. So we'll keep moving along here. Smash her through this wall. Kill the skeletons. 
die, skeletons. I just love how he just uncontrollably swings in a circle. Uh, it's kind of hilarious. I would love to show you some of the, the, the multiplayer off. And I have no one to play with. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we can find the boss here, though, in a, you know, a couple of while here. Uh, what is this? This is actually a stone hammer. Let's take that. That works. Uh, I think we killed everything so we can leave the room now. And I'm going to end the video basically at the second boss. Hopefully we can find him here in a jiffy. Uh, let's go through this door. We already went through that door. Let's go through the north door. I usually find going up is usually like a safe bet. Uh, you'll find sometimes traps in rooms like these, like these little spinning blades. I actually ran into a room where there was a, a literal giant ball chasing you. I also love how stupid the enemies are. They just run into traps themselves. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, die. Oh, you hit me. You hit me! No! Bad monster! Alright, we'll go this way, we'll go left. And then hopefully we will go, uh... Here, oh, here it is! One thing I'd say is whoever did the art on this little mosaic here, this little... This literally is the origin of the next boss, by the way. It's kind of hilarious. I can actually look at it all. It's kind of adorable. Uh, and it's little touches like these, little art touches like these. It really kind of drew me to this game. I kind of, this is what I liked about the game. So we're going to go ahead and face the boss here. Last time I faced this boss, he kicked my ass. And I had better gear than I did last time. So I'm pretty sure he's probably going to just whip my ass again. I, man, he's a badass looking bull, by the way. The luchador. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so his punches are ridiculously strong. Uh, but I was also slower last time. So I'm going to see... Wait, oh, he has like a pattern almost. Uh, he'll start trying to like launch these... Missile. Oh, okay. Maybe we should just go into him swinging. Oh god. I'm pretty sure he's the death of me. Yeah, I think, I think there's just... The hammer is just not a good weapon for this guy. Where are you going? Oh, there I go. I'm dead. <laughs> that guy is such a tough boss. I have not been able to beat that guy. It's because I need a ranged weapon for that guy, like a spell or a bow. The hammer doesn't work very well for that boss, I find. Um, maybe I just got unlucky, or maybe I just suck at the game. It's also very possible, guys. So yeah, guys, it's just a really... It's a very interesting take on the roguelike game. Uh, you know, the action dungeon crawler roguelike genre, guys. It's very interesting. I guess I'm just a sucker for, like I said, it's adorable art style, the kind of wacky action. Obviously, though, Creedence Crypt still has a long ways to go, guys. More features to be added. Matter of fact, according to their Kickstarter, going to be adding um, shops, item buffs, more bosses, character progression, uh, mini quests, and online co-op. Of course, that is all dependent probably if the game gets made or not, you know? So, as far as the demo goes, I did have a lot of fun playing it, guys. A couple times, you know, trying out the different weapons and seeing how the rooms change up. So the game does have some replay value, even for a demo. You know, plus, you know, throw in that local co-op and you probably have like a lot more, you know, replay there and more, you know, crazy antics than I had here. There is bugs, though. Uh, and that's to be expected, you know, it's an alpha guy, so, you know, keep that kind of thing in mind. Otherwise, I encourage you, if you have a free moment, to go ahead and check out their Kickstarter. If you like what you see, go ahead and give them your support. You can always go ahead and vote for them on Steam Greenlight, and that doesn't cost you anything. So, you know, other than a click and a little bit of your time, guys. So, a big thanks to the developer for a chance to preview this game, guys. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share as it really helps me out, and I'll keep bringing you awesome games, guys. Till next time. Play more indie games.